It is on Friday night in Rotterdam Hall, and for UFC Fight Night 87 with me is Jermaine Durandamy, who fights Danish fighter Anna Elmose on Sunday night. And Jermaine, we are just two days away from the fight. How do you feel right now? I feel amazing. I absolutely feel amazing. Uh, it's been a long time that I felt so great. I feel energized. Uh, the weight cut is going very, very smooth, very easy, and uh, I couldn't wish for anything more. It, it's, it has been a very, very long time, it, almost a year layoff. How has the layoff been for you, for yourself, physically and mentally? Physically, it was okay, you know. I, I mean, I got to work on a lot of things that I needed to work on, and I keep evolving in the game. But uh, and mentally also, you know, but I'm a fighter. I like to stay active. I like to fight more. And it's been 14 months now that I've been out of the cage. So uh, it's been way too long. What kind of injury was it? Was it a serious injury? Yeah, it was an injury I couldn't absolutely not fight with. Uh, the doctors were even considering uh, having to do surgery. But uh, I'm luckily, I didn't have to do surgery. So uh, now I'm ready to go. 100% ready for the fight? <laughs> more than 100% ready. You're fighting... Danish uh, fighter Anna Elmosa and we spoke earlier and you said you didn't know nothing about Anna Elmosa. How about today? Have you looked her up, seen some of her fights? No, I haven't. No, I have not looked her up. We met, we said hi to each other, but that's it. So how do you approach this fight since you don't know anything about Anna and her strengths and weaknesses? Have your coaches watched her fights? I think they watch the fights, but it's not, and without b being disrespectful, you know, it's not about Anna. I have to be the best me uh, Sunday. And Anna has her game plan and I have my plan and I want to execute my plan. So I have to focus on what's my strength, my weaknesses, what I want to do. I want to impose my will on her. And so, and there was no need for me to focus on Anna. It was need for me to focus on me. You're talking about your plan. So what will your plan be on, s on Sunday night? Finish the fight. Standing on underground? Wherever it has to go. A few years back you were interviewed and uh, you, were compared to, you were compared to the female version of Anderson Silva. You weren't that uh, uh, keen on, uh, on it uh, before. How do you feel about it today? Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's always an, an honor to be compared with one of the greatest MMA fighters in history. He's a legend. You know, but uh, I still have to live up to the expectations of uh, Anderson Silva, even though I'm very honored to be uh, compared with him. Are you the big, best kickboxer in the women's bantamweight division? Um, we will see Sunday. Ask uh, me Sunday after the fight. How do you see this fight going? If everything goes according to your plan, how do you want this fight to end? Ideally. Ideally. You know, ideally, you know, you go in and 10 seconds and you go out. But, you know, that's not, that's not realistic. Uh, ideally, I, would, I hope, you know, it's going to be an amazing fight and the, f the crowd is going nuts, you know, then my wish is completed, you know. No matter the outcome of the fight, I just want to have the fans to have a great, great fight. Thanks for the time and all the best of luck on Sunday night. Thank you so much.